Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a chart that automatically shows you the best three months of a period. So on the example on the screen, you can see I've got these best three months highlighted in orange with the figures at the end there, you can see that. So if I change one of these sales figures, so if I, for example, change February to 10,000, when I press enter, that will change over and that will show that one has been one of the top three months. So the way I've done this, I've used this function here, the large function and the if function. Now, I've also got this set up so that if I add any other record, so for example, if I just pull this down, and give myself some extra months, you can see the dates changing there, going down to April 23, and then if I um, select some data there, pull that down, the data changes. And if I pull this formula down, that changes as well. So if I make that one 10,001, that bottom one now becomes one of the top three. So this chart is a completely dynamic chart, picking up, always picking up the top three figures in this list. Now I've used a few named ranges here. So this column B, I've called it list. And behind this chart, I'm using the offset function with the count A function. And again, another named range is called amount. So what I'm gonna do is recreate this from scratch. So first of all, Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. I'll do it on a separate sheet. If I just copy this data, I'd go down to December, copy and just paste that into a second sheet and then just use this second sheet. So that's the data. So I want to know what the, the highest three months is. And I call that rank. So I'll just call that rank. And then I use that formula, that if function. So equals if, open bracket, if this, is greater than or equals to and now i'm going to put the large function in there large now i've not given it a name but i will give it a name i'll just call i'll just call this um my list i'll name it in a second my list comma and then the number i want is three close that and then if that's true i want that figure to appear there Otherwise, I want a zero to appear there when I close the bracket. Now, when I click the tick here, it's going to come up with name because I've not named this my list, but I will correct that in a second. So it comes up with name. As soon as I call this my list, enter, it gives me the zero, and then I can pull that down for the rest and then format that to pounds. So that bit works. So now what I need to do is create my little chart. So I'll highlight this data, go insert, just get myself a bar chart, that'll do. Now obviously this is not picking up the, um, it's not picking up the um, rank. So what I need to do is go up to select data and add some more criteria. So this is rank. And then the values are going to be these values, like so. Close that, click OK. OK, and you can see the orange appearing. What I need to do now is get these to overlap. Just double click on the orange and then go into the series options and just type 100% in there. Press enter on that and then they'll overlap. And then if I just put the labels on that, data labels just on those three so that's the um, and then I've got this the other way up so I don't want that December 2022 at the top so I need to just put that in the reverse order so that's how I want it January so those are the three best months if I put that down to 2000 something that will change and another best month will appear so that will work as it is However, if I add anything at the bottom of here, obviously that's not getting picked up. 
So then what I did was I used the offset function. So if I just get rid of this graph, delete it. I use the offset function with the count A function to basically bring back the, the last 12 months of this. So if I go, um, let's get the titles, copy these across, just drag them with your mouse and hold your control key down, that'll copy. So if I go equals offset, there's a new function called take that you could try and use, but I found the offset function does what I wanted to do just as, as good. Comma. So instead of putting a roll number in, I'm going to use the count a function, which will count if there's anything in a cell. So count a function, count a, and I want to count the entire column a. And I want it to bring back minus 12, so 12 off that. So it will count all of this, so there'll be 13 all together with the title. I just want it to come back with a total, so it should come back with Jan 2022. Comma zero for the columns, I don't want it to come across the column. Close that bracket, click the tick. That's not formatted as a date, but if I change that to um, short date, it comes back as that date. And then I can pull that across with the other two. And these two obviously need to be in pounds, so they're in pounds. And then if I highlight these three and bring them down like so, then you've got the, the information you want. So the bottom one is not correct. So let's have a look at fixing that. What I need to do, I made a mistake up there. I need that to be minus 13, not 12. So that's Jan. Pull that over. Change those two to pounds again, and then highlight the three, and just double click it down. So that says the 12, which is that one. And if I change that figure to 10,000, that picks it up. So what I now need to do is base my chart on this data. So if I highlight these two columns, in fact, what I did was I named this column, didn't I? I don't really need to name it. I'll just highlight these two. Create a bar chart from that. There's my bar chart, as it was before. I need to um, set data, add. Title is going to be rank. The range, range. Okay, so that's showing me those three orange bars and then so just double click on the orange bars go to the series options overlap it by 100 percent add the data labels for that one and change these labels around so i've got the first of the 12th first so i want to do that in reverse order so move this up a bit in fact i can sit it on top of there now too close. Let's move it up a little bit and then make it a little bit bigger. And now I need to change this label, I think. So if I just change the label on that, uh, number format it will be, and I want it to be in the same order as that. Three M's, two Y's, add. Okay, we've got Jan down to December. So now if I add some more information, so if I just pull these, so this is a thing growing, pull it down one. So Jan 23 is the same. As I come down again, the, the best three months, and now the last three months, it's not picking up that one. So the reason it's not picking that one up is because it's not in the last 12 months. So it's dependent on how you want to do this. What you have to do is change this from the offset function back just to the normal, same as this. So I'll just copy, I won't copy that because it's got, and this is where I name this range actually. So I'll just name this sales. 
and then I'll get it to look at sales. So instead of having the offset function there, this needs to just be a normal formula. So, it's, so what I need to do now is put the if function in here, the same one as I did on this sheet, this, this, uh, this one here. So it only uses the last 12 months. So it's going to be equals if, open bracket, if that is greater than or equal to the large function, sales is what I've called it, comma three, close the bracket. If that's true, F2, comma, F2, comma, zero, close that bracket, and pull that down. That should just show me the last three high numbers. So as you come down, so that's the last three in this list. That's the highest in this list, but this is showing you the highest in the last 12 months. So for example, if I put that down as 34, 23, these are now the highest in the last 12 months, which just happened to marry up to that. If I make that a bigger number, that's picking it up. So that's always gonna pick up the last 12 months. So you, your chart is always gonna have the right data if you're using that if function on there and then you can just hide all of that with the chart this can just keep going and going and going and that's always going to show you the right sort of information let's change some of these low figures to make them stand out on the chart a little bit so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can create a chart that will always show you the top three months in terms of sales as you go forward the chart is totally dynamic so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you on the next one